Hey guys, I'm Pierce of Scaly Ventures and I'm here with Deputy Davis of the Anderson County Sheriff's Office and I was going to ask him today why he does what he does. So how are you doing, officer? Doing good. How about yourself? Man? Doing very good. Could you tell us a little bit about what got you into this? Yeah, um, from an early age I've always been the type to uh, help back in the community. Uh, you know, a lot to do with church, just getting back out in the community doing things. Uh, family members in law enforcement, I have a cousin that's uh, one of my role models I look up to a lot. Um, he's actually an SRO at uh, Wren High School, uh, TJ Burgess. Um, kind of influenced me in my younger younger days when I was growing up um, to actually get out and, and be somebody. You know, and, uh, you know, a lot of people say um, it, this is a calling because uh, you know we, we wake up every morning not knowing if we're coming home. Um, I, from the military, I was in the military for six for six years. Did a deployment to Afghanistan. I've come back. I'm a volunteer fireman at Western Orleans Fire Department. Um, also, obviously, work with the sheriff's office. So, when it comes to the community, I just um, you know, anything I can do to, to help give back and help somebody. If, if um, I, I use this analogy, if, if bullets are flying, I'm coming that way. You know? <laughs> so, um, if there's danger, uh, that's something that you know we put this, this badge and uniform on. Um, if there's danger, you know we're coming. Um, just just hold on, and uh, the cavalry's coming. You know? That's uh, you know, if, if, if God calls me to, to um, lay down and, and die in this uniform, that's just what God's called me to do. Um, but at the same time, you know, I got—I know I got God's protection around me, and a lot of people praying for me. So yeah, it's, um, it's, uh, a, it's an enjoyment for sure. I bet it is. And how long have you been a canine officer? Um, I've been a canine handler since um, last. Well, I've had Tommy since June of last year. Um, I was an SRO in a school, um, Lakeside Middle School. And then I was also an SRO at Homer Park, Greenwood, and South Camp, uh, in District Five. In um, I did an SRO, and I also worked on the road. I've been in uh, law enforcement for a total of five years. Enjoyed every minute of it. That uh, is awesome. uh, by far, this is probably the funnest job in law enforcement. <laughs> um, if you like slobber and hair and um, cleaning up after your dog, and, you, know, you know, possibly getting you know scars on your hand and briars from tracks, and uh, it's the job for you. Uh, obviously, the school is probably the most rewarding job to be able to reach out to kids and influence them and let them know that you know we're, we're human beings. You know, we put our pants on the same way you do. Um, we we're, we're here to help you. It doesn't you know nothing nothing matters when you call 911. We don't care who you are. We just, all we need to know is you need help, and, and we're coming to help you. That's so, awesome. Uh, that's one of the things I try to influence this in, in kids when I was in the school. That, uh, just because I wear this uniform, that doesn't make me who I am. Uh, I'm, I'm a great guy, and I try to, you know, I try to treat people with respect until, obviously, you know, obviously there's a point in time you have to break off and, and put hands on somebody. But for the most part, you, know, you do your job and you treat somebody with respect. They'll treat you with respect any longer. Yes, they will. Well, thank you for your service. All right, guys, stay tuned to Scaly Adventures for more stuff in Season 5, and we'll see you later.